Hey, I haven't done one of these updates for a while and I uh, thought I'd show you what the latest is on 8-Bit Music Maker. Um, yeah, as you can see I've changed the colors here on these buttons uh, and the different sounds each have a different icon. So you got, you know, these type of uh, click sounds. They always have, they all have the same icon. Explosion sounds. Um, and the note sound as well, synthesizer. Um, and the other thing I've added is, um, so you can now go to this tracker page and input notes here. So I can make a little like synth. I'm gonna press play. And I can get some other sounds, so like a um, sound, nice kind of bass drum sound. Um, and I can put that one in there. Get a nice hi hat type of sound. And put this one in here. And a snare sound, so... And I'll stick that one in here. Now we can play. I've also got these um, this export here, so you can change the beats per minute. We'll change it to 125, and when we play, it'll go slower. And um, the other thing is, you can save it, so we can save it as. Uh, whoops. And what that does is download a. .ebmm.snd file, which is like a JSON file that you can then re-import here. You can say choose the file and reload it in. So now you can persist your tunes to disk. And the other thing you can do is export the channels as WAV files. So here I can export this channel 4, the drum track, as a WAV file and uh, use that in an external program like VLC. Or whatever you want. You can stick it in a looping program and use it in your whatever kind of program you want. So yeah that's everything I've done on it recently. I'm getting pretty close to the point where I think I can uh, make it public and uh, you guys can start using it. Uh, so things I want to add are like basic note selection and editing here. Um, I want to be able to show what track is, what line is, row is currently playing. Um, yeah, and a few more usability things. Um, you can delete notes at the moment, but you can't like copy and paste. So yeah, once that usability stuff is done, I think I'll be ready to put the first version out for people to start testing. Cool. Thanks very much for watching.